So are you guys updating your system drivers regularly? If not, then definitely your system is not working perfectly fine. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can update your software and drivers for your system. And it's very easy. You don't need to do very much thing. Okay, so before that, let me tell you why you need to update your system drivers. So like whenever you're using your system and you are using your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and any software which is related to graphics and all that. If the driver is not up to date, then your system will not work like you are facing some audio issue with your softwares or bluetooth not connecting and your wi-fi is not giving best performance so you need to up to date your system drivers so i have intel processor so in this video i'm going to show you how you can update intel but if you have amd then don't worry i will give the link you can follow that okay so here is the intel official website and this link you will get in the description here you can see drivers and software and now you can see automatically update your drivers just click click on get started okay you can see microsoft windows 7 8 8.1 windows 10 and it is also for windows 11 and the very good news for windows 11 users like if you are using windows 11 and your drivers is not up to date that's why you guys facing some game crashing issues or your software is not working perfectly fine and intel recently delivered some updates for drivers so you can just click on download now and update all the drivers automatically open it Check this box, I agreed, install, accept and it is really important to up to date your all system drivers okay if you want your system work perfectly fine and smooth if drivers is not up to date maybe you will face like some screen flickering issues or any app which is crashing like you using any video editing software that is not working perfectly fine like photoshop and all adobe softwares like you are playing some games on windows 11 and it is not opening or opening but crashing so all these graphics fix issues so you can just update so you need to just install this and regularly or monthly basis check this update and you will be able to use your system perfectly fine okay so restart it and after restarting your system you need to open that assistant like intel driver support assistant so whenever you open it will open in your chrome so here you can see available updates one and it's wireless bluetooth for windows 10 whenever you open that software refresh results so it will automatically detect latest software for your system you can see it is detecting so it just found one driver i'm going to download it and it will install in my system automatically so it is very easy way to update the latest drivers for your system okay just click next accept the license next so just click on complete and install here at the bottom you can see your system name and bios version motherboard manufacturer devices and drivers so for processor it is up to date so that's why it didn't show some other drivers so all the information for your system it will give you only bluetooth driver is not update in my case so that's why it is given that update and in your case if any other driver not updated like wireless network or any other drivers that will be show here like available updates so you can update every driver or install as i did here and after restart your system will work perfectly fine so you will see green signal like your intel drivers and software are up to date okay so now the turn is amd users i will put this link in description you can download this now and it will automatically detect as i did for intel so if you have amd then you can follow the same steps so okay guys that's how you can update your software and drivers for your system and your system now work perfectly fine so okay guys that's it for the video if you like this video just hit the like button and do subscribe if you are new on this channel okay guys thank you so much for watching this video